So in the kettlebell swing, what we're looking for is a hip dominant movement, meaning the uh, knees are not going to track forward much like a squat. So that's one of the common errors we see in kettlebell swings is it turns into a squat and then we're basically doing more vertical force production. So we're looking for horizontal, the hips move backward. In that starting position, he's gonna hike the kettlebell as if it were a football. Now during that process, what we'll typically see is the hips will raise uh, or the person will start to stand up. Now the tough part is getting them to lock that position in, hike the kettlebell as if it were a football, and be able to get it back so that the uh, posterior chain is loaded. From there, the sequence is to drive the hips forward, get them to extend, then the kettlebell leaves the hips. A lot of times we'll see that kettlebell pop way forward before the hips have even finished extension. So that's why we set them up in that position.